Hey guys, so today's tutorial is going to be a wig that I received from Elba Hair. I've got my Bleach by Salon Care, I've got my Mixing Bowl, and I've also got my 30th Developer in Cream. So they did send me a Virgin Brazilian Candy Curl 13 by 6 Lace Frontal. Along with that, you'll get a brochure inside which shows some other units. I do believe this website is new, but I'll definitely post all of the information below for you guys. So that way you can check them out. You also get like fishnet hair, stocking cap, and stuff like that. So as you guys see, it's a 13 by 6 lace front, so you get plenty of parting in the middle. And you do have some combs in the front, along with that, a comb and an adjustable strap in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and bleach the knots. I just want it to look more natural and realistic as possible. You don't really have to, but I'm just going to do just a little bit of that. And when you're bleaching your knots, you don't want your mixture to be too thin and runny because it definitely will see through the lace of your wig. So you want to make the mixture a little bit on the pastier side. So I'm just going to take some of my 30 developer and I do use the blue bleach because the blue is best for darker color hair. It'll lift it better and it will leave it with less orange grassy tones. So if you want to use the blue, then you can. There's also purple, which is more or less like for a medium brown. So I did need to put a little bit more of bleaching powder in there because like I said, I didn't want it to be runny. It will seep through the lace. I'm not like a huge stickler about it seeping through the lace. Like it doesn't really bother me if it gets on the roots because I don't mind. It seems like it gives it a little bit more natural scalp appearance. So that's, that's not like a big issue to me. So I'm just going to take my brush here and I'm just going to do it in patting motions. You want to be really gentle when applying the lace to your wig, or excuse me, <laughs> applying the, be the bleach to your wig because like I said, you don't want it to get through the lace. You just want to take your time. I use a smaller brush when doing this application because it's just less harsh. I don't find myself like being forceful with it. But sometimes you can use other items as well versus the actual brush but you definitely want to do the number one key is take your time and be gentle when applying the bleach and for a certain hair you want to make sure that it sits on for a certain amount of time along with the developer so I'll probably let this sit on for like 30 minutes and then right after that I went ahead and I rinsed the bleach out and I'm just going to use my one and only argon oil shampoo conditioner that I got at the Dollar Tree to just you know moisturize and condition the hair Okay guys, so I'm going to use my Pump It Up hairspray in gold just to make sure that my wig cap stays in place. I've had this wig cap for like a couple of months. It works good for me. I just mold it to my head and I just use my blow dryer and you know it has a little bit of makeup on it and it's all good to go. So you want to put your blow dryer on like medium or cool heat, whatever you can withstand. Now let's go ahead and put this lace wig on. Do you guys see the hairline of this? So I did do a little pre-plucking to the unit prior to showcasing it here. But it was actually really all good to go. But you know, you want to make it look as natural as possible. So I just took a little bit out. Not really too much. Um, it didn't came out really, really nice. Oh, did I take anything out? You know what? I really can't remember. I do believe I did. But I don't think I did. But I'm thinking that I did. I can't remember to be honest with you guys. But... Um, you know what I did? I actually did pre-pluck a little bit now that I think about it. But the hairline is actually pretty on this one. This wig is like super affordable for 20 inches. It is $162, hunties. But the, the good thing about it is the hair is so soft and full. You get 13 by 6 inches of lace parting. And also the hairline is like amazing. Okay, so you're really not having to do too much. I really didn't do too much when I say I pre-plucked it. I really didn't do too much for this unit because I'm really trying to remember but like look at the hairline right here like this looks so pretty you know something um, yeah I only did like a very tiny little bit of it because it wasn't much needed so they basically do all the work for you only in certain areas that I do it like in the frontal area I didn't have to pre plug anything so prior to just applying your wig you want to make sure that your hairline is clean you don't have any makeup or anything like that so that's what I'm doing I'm just taking a baby wipe and wiping off any excess pressed powder on my face you know you can always go ahead and reapply it after you've done um, applied your wig you don't want any of that makeup and foundation in your glue or hairspray or whatever you're going to use I like to use pump it up gold super hold because it works best for me my wig be on for like three days to four to five sometimes hunty Depending on what I use to sleep with, I'll use like a head scarf and something else and I'm good to go. So I just went ahead and put the blow dryer on 
cool heat just to dry it down. Sometimes I'll um, use to pump it up underneath the lace and then also on top. It all depends on the mood that I'm in. So for this particular video, I just sprayed it onto my hairline and just used a rat tail comb to just press it down into my skin. This wig is actually really nice for the price. I'm very surprised because you get a lot of parting. You get a nice amount of hair. The hair is super soft. It did not shed after I bleached it, okay? Did not shed at all. And also, the density is great. Like for 150 density, you're getting a nice amount of hair. Plus, the hairline is like a maze ball. So, I was very impressed with that. So, as you guys see, I'm taking the comb, tail end of the comb, and I'm just kind of like putting it between the hairs. So, that way it doesn't like mash the hair down or smash it down or anything like that. And, you know, you just want to repeat the same process on the opposite side as you guys see it. And if you have a blow dryer with a nozzle at the end, it's great. If you don't, you can always use like your comb like how I'm using right here. But for the most part, you guys, do you see the hairline of this wig? Like for $162, you're getting a great wig. I do believe this is the sale price because I did see it marked down. So if you guys want a great, nice lace frontal, you can definitely check them out. I do believe this is a newer company, so you may want to keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to put a little bit of baby hairs. This is not really going to be like a baby hair type thing. I do like like the sideburns on the side of my wigs because, I don't know, I just feel like it's naked if I don't have like a piece of hair by my ears. Am I the only one that feels that way? So I'll just use an eyebrow trimmer to cut it because you don't want a blunt cut, a blunt cut in your, your hair because it just looks too straight. And you just, you know, take them sparingly. Just because you cut them all, baby hairs, does not mean you have to use them. So I like to style my baby hairs with mousse, and I use the mousse from the Dollar Tree, which is by Salon Selectors. I love it. It's a dollar. It works well for me. I don't have to spend like a bunch of money. And I'm also trying out this edge brush that I did purchase. Now, you know, one side has a comb, one side has a brush, and then the other end has like a little spatula so you don't get your hands dirty or whatever. But it wasn't like my favorite, so thank God for the toothbrush edge brush gods that my green one is always on standby because... I'm not really a big fan of that brown brush. I'm really trying to give it a chance, but I don't know. The bristles seem to like to go every which way. The handle is not thick enough for me to hold on to. So, you know, once you get used to something, you just get used to it. Like I said, I just use the mousse to sculpt my baby hairs. You can use whatever your preference is, but I just prefer the mousse because I can lay them down and sculpt them in place. And then once they're dry, I can just take, like, my fingers or my rat tail and pull them up so that way they're not pasted to my skin and they're more or less like flowery. So that is normally what I do. And I also will spray like a little bit of the pump it up if I chose to. But being that I already put it on underneath the lace, I don't need that. I'm just going to blow dry these baby hairs on food temperature and then we are going to be done with the styling. You want to make sure that you wipe up any excess hairspray off of your skin that you have applied. Um, it just has a shiny feeling. It doesn't take away from the wig, but it has like a shiny look.
Okay, you guys, so I think this came out really cute. It's natural looking. I like the fullness of it. Like this wig is super, it's not super full, but the hair is not, you know, like you get some curly wigs and the hair is full like this. At the same time, it's so full. The hair is so thick. Like, you know, like, listen, girl, do not think and comb that too much because it will swell up like just huge. This one is not giving me that because the hair is actually really soft. So this is like some nice texture hair. And all you have to do is just finger comb some of it. And it gives it like so much body and volume. Plus it just looks so natural opposed to just leaving the curls and just letting them be limp. I like when my wigs are full like this. They are really pretty. It gives me like this vibe, like really vibe. Not really seriously though. It looks really cute. I wasn't deciding. Um, I was undecided of what side to part it on, but being that I brushed the hair up right here, I just kind of like flipped it over. So I didn't even have to do a part, but there is somewhat of a part, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to do a part because I didn't want to brush the curl pattern out or comb the curl pattern out, you guys. But it looks really nice. Like this is like some very pretty hair. Now for some reason, I'm not thinking that this is 18. It may be 20. I'll definitely link all of the information below for you guys for this unit. Um yeah it's cute it's very full like i said i didn't even finger comb all of it because it was just like enough in the front but i like to wear it like flipped over and as you guys see i just add some height and volume just with some hairspray and blow dry on cool and your hair will stick up hunty for days okay and i did leave the lace a little bit longer than normal um just because i didn't want it to be so close to the hairline um, and that's about it you guys so I will list all the products and the information to this wig down below I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you rate comment subscribe share this one or share this video with everyone you love on all social media even the people that you don't like you definitely want to share it to them like you can spam them if you want to okay but you guys I love you all make sure you stay diva and devolicious as always and I'll see you guys in a soon to come video more or less like tomorrow you know if you guys aren't tired of me yet.